Hey, what's up everybody? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another video here on YouTube. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of an update today. Um, I just want to let everybody know that uh, last week I was on vacation. I think I mentioned that, which is why I did not upload any videos. Uh, last Action Hero I had already recorded prior to me going on vacation. I, I just did not have time to upload it. Same with True Lies. Uh, True Lies is done. It's in the can. I just didn't have time to upload those yet. But um, I will be resuming the Arnold Schwarzenegger reviews shortly. Um, like I said, I was on vacation. Vacation went fine. Um, we just went to my grandparents' house. They live at the beach, uh, Bethany Beach, Delaware. That's where they retired to. So we go there for vacation every year. It's very nice, very nice community, very close to the beach. You know, it's it's also nice because you know we don't have to pay for a hotel. We don't, you know, food. You know, unless we go out to eat. You know, it's it's very nice. I really, really like. It. I've been going there my whole life, so I uh, enjoy it. Um, for those who are wondering about my new job, um, it started this week. I, I've been working uh, every day since Monday. I have some training to do tomorrow. Um, and then two day, or I work, I think four days next week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then two days I know of the following week, because the way that the schedule is, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to, but that's okay. You know, I like change. Change is good. But I like it so far. Um, I'm enjoying it. You know, they're actually treating me like an adult, which is very nice. Um, you know, I really like it so far. They're very nice people. Uh, most of the people I have known of, like I've known their relatives or they've known me from my previous job. So very, very nice people. The manager is very, very nice, very cool guy. He's younger. I think he's a few years older than me, but very nice guy. So I'm liking it so far. Um, I was supposed to get paid today by my last job, but they fucked me out of that. So I'm working on trying to resolve that because they do owe me money. So I'm trying to figure that out once i figure that out that'll be fine you won't hear me mention them anymore um but in terms of that everything else pretty everything's fine um like i said i will be resuming the arnold schwarzenegger reviews later on in the week um i'm fighting some ear trouble right now in my right ear which is my bad ear um and also i got freaking neck pain and now my back is starting to kill me and so god only knows falling apart because i'm getting old <laughs> but now once once my ear feels better i'll start doing the reviews again because you guys know how it is you know when you're not feeling well you just like fuck it i don't want to do anything leave me alone you guys know how it is but i also wanted to talk about i think at this point everybody knows but robin williams yes robin williams has passed away which is very hard to believe very shocking um, I was very shocked when I heard this. Um, it just... It, it's really hard to put into words. Because you just... You can't believe it. I mean, I, it's been a couple days and I still can't believe it. I'm like, no, he's he's not dead. There's no way he's dead. But he is. It's just, it's, it's, it's hard to believe. It really is. Like it, It's very shocking. Now, I know um, some new information has come out. I just read on uh, the internet that he had Parkinson's disease, but it was not, he did not reveal it to the public. His wife just released a statement a little bit earlier that, you know, he was at the beginning stages of Parkinson's disease, and he they did not want to reveal it yet, which, so I'm sure that definitely played a huge factor into his death. Um... I know, and I hate I hate when people bring these up, but I hate when people bring up the cause of death, and to me that's not important. It's really not, because the way I look at it, you know, we, we're all, we all die, you know, it, it's inevitable, but I don't tend to prefer to remember people by the way they died, I prefer to remember people by the way they lived. And I think Robin Williams lived a good life. You know, yeah, he did some things wrong, which we all do. You know, I know I fucked up plenty of times. But 
you know, he just was a one of a kind person. I mean, it was very obvious in his films and his his stand up comedy. He was there was only there's only gonna be one Robin Williams and he was it. And you know, just the characters that he played, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire, you know. How many how many other people you think could have pulled that off, Mrs. Doubtfire, the way that he did? Or Aladdin. You know, how many people do you think could have could have been the genie? You know, not many people, but Or, you know, another one, one of my probably my favorite is uh is Peter uh, Hook. You know, Peter Pan. You know, how many how many I don't think anybody else could have done that the way that Robin Williams did. Yeah, it's, you know, it's Nobody else could have done that, the way that he did that movie. And I know that watching that movie now and watching his other movies, I don't, I don't. It's not going to be the same. It's not because. It's not going to be the same. But. <sighs> Excuse me. You know, it's it's just gonna be it's like a it's like an empty hole where something used to be, and that's honestly that's the best way that you could describe it because he was just so one of a kind, and so original. You know, and there will never be another. It's not even close to to Robin Williams, but. You know, my favorites, obviously, you know, I grew up with, with stuff like Jumanji. I think Jumanji's great. Mrs. Doubtfire, I know a lot of people will say is, is his best. And, yeah, I, I will admit that's definitely one of my favorites because that movie, they just they just let him go. They just whoosh, they just let him do his thing and, and let him be himself. And, and that movie, you know, was, was, I think, the height of his... Of his popularity and his creativity, and that I think, yeah, you know that they just they let him do his thing and and let him be off the cuff, and it worked. It just it really worked. And Aladdin was always one of my favorites because uh, Disney was a big part of my childhood. It always will be, uh, and it always be a part of my life. You know, no doubt about it. Um, Good Morning Vietnam is a classic. Uh, the Birdcage was was hilarious. He was great in Good Will Hunting. Um, Toys was great. He was great in that movie. Uh, Dead Poets Society. I mean, Dead Poets Society. He got nominated for an Oscar. I mean, he was fantastic in that movie. But, uh, you know, how do you sum up Robin Williams. It's just it's tough. It's really tough. But he had some classic lines. Uh, the one from Goodwill Hunting, you know, son of a bitch, he stole my line. That was great. Um, you know, Dead Poet Society. You know, Carpe Diem, Seize the Day. You know, that's. I think that most people, you know, live by that word. You know, Seize the Day. You know, Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah, here's the, here's it is right here, you know. And I can't even, I can't even do it in that voice, because it wouldn't be the same, you know. He's the only guy that can do that.
you know, Aladdin at the end, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna miss you, and he's like, I'm gonna miss you too, Al, and you know, no, no, no matter what anybody says, you'll always be a prince to me, you know. The Fisher King, he was great in that movie. He was great in that movie. Oh, but his his comedy was was fantastic. But but I think his best quotes come from Hook. And Hook, like I said, who who else could have done that as well as him? No one. Nobody could have done that. He was Peter Pan, you know. You know, to live would be an awfully big adventure. You know, it's true. trying to find the quote. I can't find it. You know, when Rufio's like, you know, I wish I had a dad like you. course everybody remembers thank you for believing Where is the quote? I can't find it. You know, when he, at the end when he's talking about, you know, take care of everything that's smaller than you. I'm not going to leave. Also, the quote from Mrs. Doubtfire comes to mind when he's talking about family at the end. But, I mean, we'll never understand why this happened. We just have to just remember the good stuff. 
And he gave us a lot of good stuff. I know. <clears throat> I know some of you are thinking, well, why are you upset? But, you know, you never knew him. But it doesn't matter. Because if you, if you like the guy, if you're a fan of the guy, you feel like you know him. You know, and that's the thing. And a lot of, you know, I just, these, these last few years, I just, I just don't understand why all these good people have, have gone. I just don't get it. It's hard to believe. You know, this year alone, you know, we've lost some very good people. I'm just looking at the list. You know, we lost the Ultimate Warrior, which was very sad because, you know, he came back after a long time. He was happy. He made peace with a lot of people. And, you know, the next day, he was gone. It's just, it was just hard to believe. You know, last couple years ago, we lost the Macho Man, Randy Savage, which is another one that was very hard to take. You know, I remember when Patrick Swayze passed away, that I, I couldn't believe that either because the morning of, I was checking some updates, I said it was fine, and then... When I got home that evening, I heard he died. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. You know, Christopher Reeves was another one that was very, very hard to, to take because after all he went through in his life and he became Superman in real life, you know. But, you know, James Gandolfini last year was another one that... Why did that happen? You know, why did, why him, you know? You know, Corey Haim was another one that I still can't believe, you know. I just can't believe it, but. You know, Brandon Lee, I know I was little and I don't remember it, but I just, that's another one that I, I just can't understand that why of all people Brandon Lee I just I don't know you know Chris Benoit like why that we will never understand what happened and why and it just all these deaths in the, in the last 10 years or so to me it's like why why do these keep happening to all these people that all they did was was make people happy and entertain people and do good things I just can't get my mind around it, you know, why, it's just why is the, is the, is the question, that's the only question I have is why, but anyway, I just, I don't get it, I really don't, you know, James Garner just passed away, you know. I understand our time comes, but it's just, it's hard to believe most times. You, you never expect it. But, uh, I'm done. That's it. That's all I got.